water pipe where any reach comes. No quite no think it comes from my like, sort of the gateway down to here where there's a pipe, so the last thing I wanna do is be catching that and sort of that out. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Just like to say before we get started, if you're enjoying the videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, so we're just, and we actually have an Instagram account which is farmingbros underscore yt if you want to go follow that and just sort of, we just post a few pictures every now and then. But yeah, so we're, I'm um, just going to a field where, well, you probably saw James doing um, the winter bar combine in winter barley and doing the alcorn. I'm going to that field because I'm going to go do a bit of flat lifting and um, just sort of get rid of some of the compaction because we're going to actually, we're going to grow our first field of um, oil seed break. So for next, so we're just going to drill it now so then harvest it next year. This is going to be the first time we've done it so we'll see. See how, see how good it is, see how, how we do, but um, yeah, so we're just going to go flat lift it and then a contractor is going to come and drill it I don't know, later on today, I think. But yeah, I don't know, you might be able to see James behind me. He's got two trailers hitched up. He's going off to go dig spuds. So they're all just leave. so everyone's leaving the yard at the same point. It's so now actually it's like half 11 of a minute. So that we had a bit of um, a bit of rain yesterday, so we we sort of we've been packing packing potatoes this morning. So we um, so that's why we're only leaving at the minute. Just give him a well. We need to do a bit of packing and just give the ground a bit of um, bit of time to dry off a bit. But uh, we, me and Steve were out there fixing the harvester yesterday. So I mean, it was pretty dry then, and it was sort of. So I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine now. Like when you actually got, un when you actually like sort of got underneath, but just like kicked your foot in the soil. Like the top bit was obviously wet, but like underneath it was dry. So they should be fine. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to head down to make our yard. I'm not going to flat lift the whole field. We're just going to flat lift the tram lines and like sort of a sprayer whip off the headland so literally just the like headland of the sprayer 24 meters off the hedge so just gonna go do that so it should take us too long and then what happens the rest of the day but that's, this will probably just be a video by itself but um so yeah we'll we'll get on with that i'll probably see you down in the field and then see what happens I don't know how I should tell you, babe But lately I get lost thinking about you I admit that I can't be without you The air that I breathe doesn't mean nothing If you're not here, giving me something I can hold on to Baby, please don't leave video when he was in my tractor trying that out um, but yeah so we're just got here we're gonna um, gonna do the tram lines first I didn't think you we didn't think you would be able to see it after it scratched over but we um you can luckily so we're gonna get the tram lines done and we're gonna do our whatever so many whips off uh, 24 meters off the headland but we'll yeah so just got out to see make sure it's all set up right one the frame level with the ground, which has looking pretty level to me. Then there's, uh, um, I'll lift it up a minute and I'll show you. If yeah. you could, hope you can see that. You can see like 
the join there if you have that i've just lifted it up so it's not quite in the ground enough but um if you have that in the ground like at that level in the ground then you probably that's about how deep you want to be because we don't have the be best sort of ground but it's pretty good so like if you just sort of try and keep that in the ground that sort of depth if you're doing it probably a good enough job for what we want but yeah so that's so we set up pretty well got our pressure you have like a you have like you set your pressure in there with your oil to like keep the legs in the ground we don't have it ridiculously high because we just don't we don't need to be given the flat lift a hard time but we find that sort of pressure works well for us but yeah so we'll get get the tram lines done first then start with the outside of the field all right so i'm gonna I'm gonna try hopefully get my gps set up i'm gonna put 24 meter say i'm by working whips 24 meters wide and i'm gonna hopefully if I drive down, um, well, I'll, I'll set my line in a minute. But I'm gonna hopefully, um, if I drive down the tram line, then hopefully, when I, um, it should, it should, my next line should be directly on the other one. I think it hasn't been drilled with GPS, so it might be a little bit out, but it'll just make it easier to find them even though it's, it's not too bad at the moment anyway but so we'll just give so yeah that's okay like, <laughs> just gonna try that just so i just make sure it's all set going all right but yeah hopefully you can I don't know, maybe see what's see it tram lines are it bit wobbly so I have to do like an A on there you can do like an A B contour so you like it'll just you'll like record what the tractor does exactly and then it'll just do that same so you can do like a bit of a curve and stuff but um yeah so I'll see do that hopefully it'll will come out alright we'll see got cruise control on Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I'll probably won't get the drone up until I'm doing the outside runs. So I'll do like another GPS, get it get it to steer itself, and hopefully I can get some good drone stuff. But yeah, this feels quite nice. It's quite a decent bit of soil here, so hopefully we won't have any problems. But. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Might in a minute just jump out again and have a look just to make sure. Oh, do not straight, yeah. AB contour, new AB contour, and hopefully I'll be able to find the next tram line, which is it. There, and I'll start my AB contour. And then it should just record what I'm doing all the way up the tram line and then hopefully I might be able to, hopefully it'll steer itself going down the next one hopefully it'll line up right if not I'll just have to drive myself but <laughs> it's always nice to see if you can get it to do as much as you can but yeah so that's that's what's gonna be so yeah doing a pretty good job I think I'm just gonna probably jump out and have a look now to make sure everything's set up right I've just lowered it in the ground a little bit more trying to get um yeah just try it wasn't quite deep enough I would say we just want to just make sure we get rid of as much compaction as possible but yeah so I'll just do that quickly Yeah, so 
so I've just, just got the tram lines done and so I'm just starting on the headlands now obviously I haven't done the headland tram line because I'm just going to do that anyway in a minute but yeah so 24 metres the um, flat lift out to but I think I just like that it's like sort of two and a half metre working with roughly that's why I've got the Jeep as well matches up well with so I was just going to do like sort of 10 passes that uh, should be enough but then I'll just do that all the way through, around the field but I've got the GPS set up so I'll just probably do like one headland at a time that work like probably just, just as easy as going all, just doing laps but yeah so that's where I'm at at the minute seems to be going quite well it's a bit up here it's like pretty, pretty hard must be it's been because it's been um driven on quite a bit this is where like trailers and stuff have been coming in and out of and they drive quite a bit driving on this headland here so this bit is probably like some of the hardest bit which is probably you can probably hear the track to like that's a gateway where so you can hear you can probably hear and see when the track to like it's a hard bit and start struggling but I would say the majority of the field's pretty good like the tram lines weren't very weren't hard to rip out so should be the like main body of the field would be pretty good but yeah so we are our third pass on this headland and then so we're getting we're doing we're doing all right but yeah I got, lost my not lost I forgot my drone that's an absolute nightmare I was hoping to get you guys some really cool drone stuff up here we flat lifting but obviously that's not the case so I'll try and try and get some different shots keep keep the videos try to keep the video interesting but it's not a lot I can do without a drone but I'll try and get some different camera angles and stuff but yeah so <laughs> that was a bit of a pain but um, hopefully it'll be still hopefully you guys still find it interesting but we'll have to wait and see yeah so I just changed two and um, yeah they're quite easy it's just uh, it's like three roll pins and you just gotta smash them out with a hammer and then um, basically you just then put a new one on and put some new roll pins in. But I, we sort of, well, like, I tend to like try and, because like the roll pins, I try and reuse like maybe one or maybe sometimes two, depending on what they're like. Because it's, I don't, it's, just, it's literally just goes in a hole and just holds it there. So save, um, waste it like sort of, Using an unnecessary amount. I help if I'm in four wheel drive. But yeah, so we're just in the field out the back of the main spud yard. This was some wheat, it was a wheat field. Don't think it, uh, don't think it did very well, but I can't, I can't tell you what, how it actually did. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's where we are and what I'm doing in a minute, I thought, as I've got the flat lift on, I thought I'd just quickly like um, do flat lift these tram lines and then that's another job done, ready then it's ready to be scratched over then. And yeah, so that's, that's what's happening in a minute. We were on graded, so let's go, that's going all right. Our little 844 has got, got wheel bearings gone, so um, Got the MX, the straw chop, which is usually on the straw chopper, that's, that's on backing trailers on. Surprising how much walk with a bigger track than that, eight, that 844 is like really handy for backing trailers on. It's like sort of like hang out the door and you can like sort of see a lot easier. So you don't you definitely notice how much walk with like backing it in or backing a trailer on with one of these is, but it's good. Just what we got to do for a minute whilst we um, whilst that one's been sorted out. Water pipe, apparently, which comes. Oh, God, I don't think it comes from like sort of the gateway down to here where there's a pipe. So the last thing I want to do is be catching that and sorting that out. Get absolutely plastered, but. So hopefully, hopefully we miss that. But yeah. Okay, go with this, so I'll probably see you. Well, it won't take me long, so I'll probably see you when.